All right, like I said, um, I'm trying to talk to an idiot who won't understand. Everyone, every human being makes mistakes. The difference is, is that a major mistake or a minor mistake. Is it something you can call the police on, right, or not? What I'm talking about is what I think I would do if... For instance, my stepdaughter came in there to me and I didn't know what was going on. And she didn't say anything, right? Because, see, this is supposed to be only two people who could know about it, right? And only one could remember it of the two people who were old enough to remember it, right? And that would be my ex-wife first, right? Of course, of course. Now, the second part would involve other people. Mm -hmm. On base or not. Exactly. Uh -huh. <laughs> now, to be a crime, though, something has to occur that makes it a crime, right? Now, if you are familiar with potty training, okay, the only way it would get weird is if the child whose panties you're pulling down, <laughs> if it's a girl, <laughs> underwear if it's a boy, <laughs> again, <laughs> boys know how to pee that they only need help going number two, <laughs> right? Though sometimes even they pee their pants. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, you know, do you know the difference? If a child's waking you up in the middle of the night and she's on her way to the bathroom, either way, and uh, all you really have to do for her to keep going is just pull down her panties for her. <laughs> Shouldn't that be the case? <laughs> right. <laughs> Right. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> and see, Fonz don't seem to understand what a beginner is. That's something you haven't done before. <laughs> mm -hmm. See, just because, again... <laughs> I've been in music, don't mean I've ever played a drum set before. Like I told you, right? <laughs> whatever, whatever. <laughs> um, but now I own the drum set and I can play the drums a little bit. And I'm what I'm teaching you is how I learned to do melodies, right? Even with the drum. <laughs> okay. Don't <laughs> And how I can impersonate unusual sounds and voices. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> now, of course I know people edit. I don't have a problem with that unless you think that makes you better than everybody else. <laughs> well, guess what? I can edit too. <laughs> All I mean... <laughs> If you got seven tracks and give me the seven tracks, I bet I could do something similar to you. <laughs> right? <laughs> Why can't I? I know. Exactly what the point is, right? Now, what makes something pedophilia, though, ain't trying to make sure your stepdaughter didn't pee already. <laughs> and there's only one way to do that. You gotta get close to the vagina, but not touch it, right? Mm hmm. Now, mm -hmm. now we're talking about blushing okay. with light skinned people and dark skinned people. <laughs> Mm 
And can you tell the difference? When I blush, I turn red and you see it, right? When black people blush, is it the same? That's what we're arguing about now. <laughs> and in their opinion, I'm wrong, right? And, and truth be told, <laughs> are they wrong, though? Mm -hmm. See, the truth makes you free. If you're wrong, insisting you're right, only way you can be wrong is if right is if more people agree with you than with me. Mm -hmm. But that means you're all lying. <laughs> right. The Bible warns about following the multitude to do wrong. Right. See, a bunch of people, right, <laughs> It's called a mob mentality, right? Now, the mob, when they're in a mob, don't care if you're, they're right or wrong. Oh, no. They're a mob. Right? That's the problem, right? Nothing I am saying is wrong, right? What they're saying is wrong, right? But they're so used to being wrong, they don't know how to be right, right? That's the problem, too, right? If more people prefer to be wrong than prefer to be right, what's going to happen too? Right. Like John said, are you going to cut off people's head for not receiving a mark in their right hand or forehead and kill them all? <laughs> That's wrong. <laughs> no ifs, ands, or buts, right? Because guess what? You can do that, right? He's telling you not to Worried you will. <laughs> you understand what that means, though, right? That's not permission to do it, by the way. It's saying you can do it anyway. Mm -hmm. And he's basing it on the Bible and the mark of Cain anyway, and how people buy and sell, sold during his time, using the image of Caesar and all that, right? And how the shekel and all that was involved, too, right? So even the um, shekel has an image on it, right? But it's hypocrisy, right? If you put a graven image on anything according to Judaism, right? Uh-oh, uh-oh, you can't do that either, either. See, that's the point, right? See, you'll break the laws yourself for you want to break the laws, right? But when you break in the laws, you know better than the other guys breaking the laws and you're both breaking the laws in a different area what that means <laughs> but if you're consistently trying to do something and you're doing it right and somebody keeps calling you wrong are you wrong no no you can never be wrong right you're trying to do the right thing right now does anybody or everybody know everything no right but an opinion right don't change the fact if you're wrong in an idea that you're not wrong in that either either an opinion, no matter how many people believe the opinion, is still an opinion and not a fact. <laughs> and again, like I said, I'm not saying I've seen a bunch of African dark-skinned people blush. Mm -hmm. To be in with, right? But I know when I blush, I turn red and people see it. I ain't even blushed in a while because usually it involves something embarrassing. Right? Like being caught with Canaan in a tent. <laughs> and again, that's not wrong. That's a short story version of what happened. There's more than what happened! That's all Moses has told you! But there is more to it than meets the eye. I know there is. Right. <laughs> There's what actually happened in reality, too. Right. What actually happened is Noah got drunk. Canaan came in with him. Right. They both got undressed together. <laughs> him saw it. Mm -hmm. Told his brothers, who walked in backwards and tried to cover it up. Right. And that's basically what happened in reality. In reality. But the details aren't told by Moses what's called verbatim. 
word for word, line for line, precept for precept, here a little, there a little. It's told in his way of communicating at the time. And it's not told fully, but partially, for some reason. He don't tell you all the details. He just hints at it, right? He's alluding to what happened with Noah, who was cursed, who wasn't cursed. So you can figure out what really happened, though. Right? To, to, he's not lying about it. Right? Something unusual did happen between Noah and who? Canaan. Right? Who was cursed to be a servant of servants, right? What does that mean? I mean, even Jesus said, I came not but to serve and save the lost. Right. He didn't come to be a Lord over you. He came to help you learn that that's wrong. That's from Satan. And you need to serve each other and help each other out. <laughs> but you don't want to do that. Another thing is, you don't even understand what John means when he says Satan is cast into the bottomless pit. <laughs> you can't figure that one out, can you? <laughs> well, there's two holes on a woman and one hole on a man. One of them is technically a bottomless pit. <laughs> Starts from the top and has no bottom. <laughs> Though it has an ending, right? It has no bottom, I know. You fall through it. <laughs> you can also go in and out of it. And find pasture. Not, not. Uh, only one you can find pasture in. And go in and out of it. <laughs> legally, legally. <laughs> See, John's using metaphors to communicate something to you you don't want to see today. <laughs> But that his readers would understand what he meant. Not he, not he. This was 2,000 years ago. He wrote it too. Not today. Not today. So therefore, you're not hearing <laughs> what he means. <laughs> no, you're not. No, you're not. But that's because you lost through Constantine the true interpretation of what's being said there when he tried to do away with the Gnostic writings and the instead of embracing it, because he knew they were clearly different in what they believed over the Orthodox. <laughs> but the Orthodox is also based on Orthodox Judaism that thinks God's meant, right? God said you can't make graven images in either or, male or female, male or female. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> and say it's God's sole image, right? No matter the creature, by the way, no, no, no. Whatever the creature looks like, male or female, it's not God's image. <laughs> if God were to have an image, it would be what? Both. But neither, neither. That's what that means. Neither Jew nor Gentile, bond nor free, male and female. And female. Because we're also male and female, right? We're not male or female, are we? <laughs> we're male and female. Male and female. The only way you're male or female is if you divide it further and don't even see yourself as from the true image of God, right? Which is the spirit, right? Made flesh, made flesh. So is the spirit, heaven and earth, if it created the matter to become and make the earth, right? And did it make the earth, right? Or did it just happen to come into existence. Was it chaotic? The Big Bang? Yeah, yeah. But was it organized by something as well? Yeah, yeah. It's both, I know. It's both chaotic at first because it deals with an explosion of matter right? into this section of the universe where maybe there was no matter before. <laughs> who knows? Who knows? We weren't there! <laughs> <laughs> and it can't be a lie. 
Can it? <laughs> if I tell you I'm making up a story, what does that mean? You're making up a story. You don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. I didn't say it was the truth. <laughs> You're the one calling me a name, which is a criminal act. Right. Not me, you. <laughs> no. And you tell me not to point the finger, but it seems like you're the one pointing it at me. Right. When I'm telling you there's only one thing I could have done that you're confusing, and that's involving potty training with the child that's around four years old. Right. But I also told you one of my stepbrothers also went to bed till his teens. Right? So I don't know the child's potty training. If she comes in there to me or not. I'm just dealing with something hypothetically. Where you keep calling me a pedophile, but I don't know what you mean. <laughs> See, that's your problem. That's something only the mom can know that night. <laughs> Not you. Uh, yeah. Unless I told you on base, right? Then you get involved, but that's still 20 days later. Right? And then we're arguing about it. I also have a sister who I help potty train with my mom and step brothers and all that too, right? Except dad, right? <laughs> So what's your issue? I can make up a good story about it. And you want to believe the story? And attack me over a made up story anyway? What does that mean? You get to really do that? No. It's a made up story. You don't get to murder me over a made up story. Do you? No. You can't murder anyone over a made up story. Whether they really did it or not. <laughs> but that's the thing about the story. <laughs> Has my ex-wife contacted you and told you it happened? Right. Is she the one pressing charges or is she even able to press charges? I don't know. Right. Wouldn't it depend on if you have evidence? Like, okay, say there's a video. That would be evidence that I did something with the child that I could look at myself and tell you what I was doing too, right? If it was something sexual or not, right? Like in 1994, or 84, I'm sorry. <laughs> was that 10 years after that that could have happened? I guess, I guess. <laughs> well, that's a story where my, a novelist called Orwell. <laughs> Don't know a lot of details about it. But see, they're selective. Right? See, they're pointing out what they think is important to them. Right? Not what really happened that night. And, uh, they weren't even there, which is what they're acting like. Right? And evil triumphs when good people don't stick up for themselves, too. You're persecuted because you allow yourself to be persecuted. You won't tell the truth. Oh, no. Only the truth can stop someone from persecuting you, right? And keep telling it and keep telling it. I don't know what they're talking about. I was asleep <laughs> on the couch. I don't recall if she came in there or not, but that could be amnesia. I do have amnesia from the fall. <laughs> I do have amnesia from a car wreck, which is called head trauma, <laughs> at least. Right? And I'm not lying about anything. I survived the car wreck and was out in the hospital in two days. Now, it took me six weeks, but I was out in the hospital in six weeks with the fall. Mm -hmm. Which, if it's a pelvic injury, okay, right. And I'm feeling pain in the sacrum, I'm just going to think again. Something unusual happened, but not know exactly what happened. And, uh, right, right. Now, if you really want to get serious about it, though, what can you do if it was in 1994? Mm -hmm. Where the only one who could witness it would be my wife that night, or if I talked with someone about it on base 20 days later, not a lot of people could know about it. Or Pastor Thomas, right? Or if Captain Kerry put my ex-wife up to it, someone else, you know, I mean, it depends, right? Or if I was questioned while I was being in on the ward and, uh, and don't remember all the questions because I'm on Tylenol with codeine, I don't know that either. 
But that's two other people who could have accused me of the same crime, right? Where I'm asleep, you know, and not who I am, right? Able to respond or answer you correctly, right? I'm still only telling you what I might have told someone else. I don't know that either, either. If I told them or not. <laughs> when you're using medications that dulls the senses anyway, can cause amnesia itself. <laughs> what do you want me to say that I haven't already said that had I done something more, you would know? <laughs> too, because if I really licked her, Daphne would go to the police. She would have to, legally, right? <laughs> or she's an accomplice. You know what an accomplice is, right? right? That's someone who knows something bad happened, but let it go and it go to the police when they shouldn't have information. <laughs> and you get so much time once I leave the apartment, too. <laughs> I'm back on base, right? 20 days is too late for anyone to do anything, by the way. <laughs> by the middle of September, when I fell, <laughs> or was injured on base somehow, right, whichever it is, right, because I don't even remember, again, the fall, but there again, I don't remember the car wreck, so again, I don't know what's going on. See, I'm the one being confused, though, right? <laughs> Something bad is happening to me in this situation, right? <laughs> Not me perpetrating something wrong on someone else. Now, the only thing, like I said, right, involving Vivian would be her daughter was interested in me or something. Mm -hmm. Another possibility is I met someone else's daughter down the road. I don't know. <laughs> right. Because, <laughs> see, I was supposed to just bring him back home too but he wanted to go to Vivian's house right? his current girlfriend right? which like I said yes she had an age difference but I don't know she, he was already to consider himself right? exactly exactly now I had just hit the age of consent if the girl was 14 and I was 16 I don't know and if I met someone else in a similar situation and we had sex I don't know right but it would be before I got off that road. <laughs> Whatever happened, happened down that road. I was dropping the Lorati off on. Right. All I can tell you there, too. <laughs> it's like with the encounter with some girl in the salon. The problem ain't the encounter and her doing the nails. The problem is I lost an hour of time in addition to her doing the nails. I remember her doing the nails. She did the nails Properly, I didn't uh, respond to her sexually either or do anything out in the ordinary. <laughs> but the only ones who would have accused me wouldn't have been her or me, but would have been the women in the salon who were being me. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> but I wouldn't have said a word about that. <laughs> myself, myself. But I don't remember even bringing up the subject. Myself, yourself. <laughs> right. And, uh, but when it's your opinion I'm wrong and you're wrong too, we're both wrong then. Right? Mm -hmm. Truth be told, if we're both wrong in different areas, I oh know. We're both wrong in different areas. <laughs> That's what that means too. Right. Now, the only other person that can be besides that is the daughter herself because she can't handle I'm married, mentally ill <laughs> when she was around me, right? That would be why she would have a problem with it and can't get over the fact that I didn't have sex with her. Right? I know I'm not supposed to, right? <laughs> Again. <laughs> or her boyfriend <laughs> messed with her so badly about it, he wouldn't have sex with her. Like I said, what... Can I tell you? And, uh, but yes, and, uh, as to who this person even is, right? I don't know, right? Right. That's why I'm telling you all the possibilities of who it could be, right? Including security guard on base who I had to go to to even try to get into the room, and, uh, right? <laughs> but other than that, who else could it have been? <laughs> 
I'm with you there, right? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but if it's a security guard on base, it's about something different. <laughs> you know what I mean? The gay Navy. The gay Navy. <laughs> are you a part of it? <laughs> or not? And if you're not a part of it, what are they going to be do to you? <laughs> if you're a straight man in the gay Navy. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Eight, six, seven, five, three, oh, nine. Then again, who can I turn to? <laughs> Give me something I can hold on to. I know you think I'm like the others before. <laughs> who saw your name and number on the bathroom door? Sometimes, sometimes, the boyfriend leaves his girlfriend in the bathroom, the bathroom door. <laughs> Damn. Right, right. Call her for a good time. <laughs> call her for a good time. For a good time, call <laughs> But see, I'm using it educationally wise. Yeah, I'm explain something you might not understand about the song. He found it on the bathroom wall. <laughs> Probably in the Sears or <laughs> Drug Stop <laughs> or a what? Rest Stop. Rest Stop. <laughs> you know what that's all about, right? <laughs> uh, what do we see? What do we see? There's something about Mary. There's something about Mary. Right. <laughs> Now, what happened when they stopped at the rest stop? <laughs> they all got the rest stop. Right. <laughs> Why? For gay sex. For gay sex. For strings. <laughs> Someone's not paying attention to their TV shows. <laughs> or movies. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm a bad freaking girl. I'm sorry. I'm not on the caption there. <laughs> she says, I'm a freaky girl. And she wants it in the butt. <laughs> the way in the butt. Ow! <laughs> sex here, sex here. Ain't nothing wrong. It's wrong to the butt all night long. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> What's Kimmy on about there? <laughs> what butt? <laughs> what butt? Which butt? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> See, that's why I use the artist name. <laughs> Kim, Kim. Is that it? Oh! Or, was that it? <laughs> or is that wrong? <laughs> it could be wrong. I'm human too. I'm only human too. <laughs> why you gotta be so rude? <laughs> I'm only human too, right? I'm just trying to make it through the world like everybody else and find my life and my. Uh, partner in life, and I believe that's a female, if you don't, well, I pray for you to find someone who can comfort you in your life, and, uh, right, wishing you know, evil or harm, right, but you're wishing me evil and harm, and you're trying to bring your evil into my life if you let a little four-year-old girl wake me up in the middle of the night, yeah, yeah, was she supposed to be in there with her mom, <laughs> So you're the one instigating. That's what happened the night I was with her. <laughs> not me. Not me. You know too much about it. <laughs> to not have been talked about with me before I fell. <laughs> or blocked out. <laughs> For real. <laughs> I thought it was at the window ledge. <laughs> I blocked out. By the way. Mm -hmm. Don't remember what happened after that. <laughs> but like with the car wreck, I don't remember what happened turning down the road. I we were making it to the turn. <laughs> curve, curve. Sorry. Because, uh, see, I'd have to veer off the curve. <laughs> so I didn't make the curve. That means I turned the wrong way. <laughs> Went straight instead of going around the curve. Okay, that sounds like a normal thing I would do to buy a new car. <laughs> By the way. Because <laughs> I want to prove the little Roddy I can handle the car <laughs> around the sharp curve. <laughs> Called Day Band's Curve. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. You believe that. You believe that. 
but the racks are normal racks, even the one with Kia. <laughs> Though the problem there is the brakes failed <laughs> to stop me in time when I realized I was heading towards the red light, but it was before the red light. I could see clearly it was red and hit the brakes and let go of the clutch and right. Mm-hmm. Uh, I didn't downshift or anything, but <laughs> I did hit the brakes. Now, the thing was, the damage to the little Kia hitting the truck's tire was so bad, they told me. <laughs> Same thing with the Ford truck, right? Because the vehicle's value is tied up. In the sense of having suspense all the way, dominating now the rest of the news through the evening and tomorrow morning. And while she's obviously the first uh, person of color on the table. Now look where my... <laughs> voting groups for Democrats are people from Asia. That's the TV. <laughs> but guess where my remote is. <laughs> uh, here? <laughs> It was on mute. <laughs> no, it was on mute. 